Hello YouTubers, beer geeks and beer hounds alike. Bill here, Bill here. we're going to do a beer review. Okay, this one is by Stone. It's called Hazy IPA. And um, let's see here. This puppy comes in at 6.7% alcohol by volume. And um, never seen this before. So it's brand new. I uh, got six pack at Total Wine More for like, um, oh, let's see, I think it's like 15 bucks. Got the receipt in my pocket. Uh, I got it for, uh, oh, about 12 bucks out the door. Okay, so pretty fairly priced. Uh, let's see if there's any literature here. They're from Escondido, California. And it's got Eldorado, Azaka, and Sabro hops. And, um, yeah. Let's see. Date on here. Oh, yeah. It's got an enjoy by date, but I can't read it right now. Wait. Uh, 12. So, it's a, oh, uh, man. Shoot. 12, I think it's an enjoy by date. So it's uh, the last month of the year, so it's really fresh. It just came out. This is what the can looks like. Okay, here we go. Alright. All right, anyhow, let's get a crack open and see what we got. I'm thirsty. I just got done working a 12-hour shift. It's 4.30 in the morning, and I'm ready for a beer. Oh, that smells good. Damn, that just got whopped in the face with hops. Man, that smells good. Nice. So this is their first official like I guess release of a hazy I guess I've never seen like stone release just a straight up hazy IPA I mean maybe with the enjoy by enjoy by one was close but or the star Fokker, yeah that was pretty hazy yeah never mind take back what I just said all right okay once again boom damn that thing's got glare from hell all right. Anywho, we got monster frothy, creamy, silky head here. Really nice looking head, and uh, not totally hazed out, but pretty hazy. You can see the sharpness of the light there. It's a orangey, light orange color, light or like an amberish, hazy amber. Looks pretty good. I don't think it's quite to like a New England style, maybe like a hazy West Coast juice looking bomb. It's getting a rum on this puppy. Oh yeah. Citrusy tropical notes right up front. Like z lemon zest, grapefruit. Smells good. Mangoes. Guavas, all kinds of aromas going on in this thing. Smells delicious. Let's get a hit. Cheers. That is pretty damn tasty. Very, very good. Taste follows the aroma. I'm getting a lot, some floral notes in there. Yum. Wow. I'm very yum. Damn. Uh, Stone did not mess around this time. Well, they, they make some pretty awesome beers for the most part. Very, very tasty. Damn. I'm getting a nice little maltiness in there. Pineapple. Damn. That's nice.
Mm. Wow, they hooked it up. Excellent. A little earthy kind of hop coming through, barely. Just, this is a juice bomb. This tastes like a juice bomb. Very tasty. I like it. Medium mouthfeel. Uh, it's only 6.8%, so there's probably not going to be any booziness, that, which there isn't. I said 6.7, yeah. So yeah, man, this is tasty. Stone, Stone did it up on this one pretty good. Man, good job, Stone. Real nice head retention here. Real creamy. Man, I'd say mango, oranges, pineapple, all kinds of tropical citrusy hop notes in here. Taste, it smells and tastes delicious. Uh, all kinds of floralness. Really smooth. This is tasty. It's really fresh too, so that has probably some something to do with it. But damn, this is a very well-made beer. What can I say? Yum. Lemon zest. Mmm. Very nice. Little tiny bit of grapefruit. It's a good balance of the malt and the, and the tropical citrusy kind of hops, man. Very nice. Doesn't have like a bite though. Nothing like that. It's real smooth. Pretty awesome beer. Uh, excellent for sessioning. You know, and sharing with some friends. Might as well drink it with you. Kill it. Mmm. It does have a slight, slight touch of, I think, lactose. Just ever so slight. Maybe, uh, I think it's lactose I'm, I'm picking up. Still, take, still awesome beer though. It's not quite as tropical and juicy as a, um, New England style, but for a brewery of this, you know, caliber, uh, this is pretty damn good. Pretty damn good. Best ha uh, hazy I've ever had, no, but pretty damn good for stone. Well, let's do the last, uh, well, we'll give it a grade right now, uh, from a one, one to five stars, uh, two and a half B and C average, um, I'm gonna give this a solid 4.5. Ribbit. And uh, that's my story. I'm gonna stick with that. Pretty good offering though here by Stone. I enjoyed it, and uh, I'm sure you would too if you pick it up. Um. So yeah, 4.5. Um. That's it for this one. Uh, thanks for stopping by, checking it out, and I appreciate y'all. And um, hit the bell, you know, that way you get notified when I, I post another beer review or whatever, guitar stuff. And uh, thanks for stopping by again. And uh, like, subscribe, all that fun stuff. And uh, we'll catch y'all later, okay? See ya.